Very, very fascinating hearings yesterday of the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, James Comey, the director of the FBI, making what many saw as a bombshell revelation, confirmation of a lot of rumors that the FBI had been looking at President Trump and his uh, team uh, months before the election. And that investigation is ongoing to try and establish whether there were any links between Trump, the campaign team, Vladimir Putin, the Russians, and any attempt to fix the US election. What is your view of what happened yesterday? Well, I, you know, I watch the events carefully here. And uh, Mr. Comey is talking about his looking into the possibility of illegal coordination between the Trump campaign and, and the Russian government, uh, and whether it affected the outcome of the election. But I think here in America, we are very aware that uh, Director Comey himself uh, could very well and is likely to have affected the outcome of the election with an October 28, uh, 2016 announcement of the discovery of new emails in the case of Hillary Clinton. And there are measurable effects of that. Uh, Vox, the website, pointed out that state polls, national polls, and, uh, and late-breaking uh, and late voters all shifted towards Trump after that announcement. So Mr. Comey, uh, in addition to looking at what uh, possibly went on between Trump and Russia, may also want to look in the mirror. Right. I mean, it's a very interesting point, that, isn't it? If he had come out at the same time that he, with about a week to go before the election, uh, with the revelation about the investigation into Hillary Clinton and the emails was being effectively reopened, if he'd said at the same time, you know, we are also looking at Donald Trump in relation to potential collusion with the Russians wow. over trying to fix this election. What effect would that have Well, had? at the very least, it may have negated the negativity towards the revelation about Hillary Clinton. And, you know, in the end, the, the result of the election was pretty tight. Came down to a few states and not a huge amount of votes in those states to swing it either way. It could have materially affected the result. It did. And, and it's measurable. I mean, people who have studied the states where Clinton was expected to win have seen the uh, late-breaking vote going to Trump. There was no other explanation for that other than the fact that FBI Director Comey, breaking precedent of other Justice Department officials over the years, decided to inject himself into the closing days of a U.S. presidential election. But the Congressional Committee didn't get into that today. What they did get into, which was really interesting, I felt, is James Comey made it pretty clear that there was no evidence to support Donald Trump's claim that he had been wiretapped by uh, President Obama or any of his uh, White House team or the FBI or CIA or whoever. He just said, look, it just didn't happen. However, you, uh, and you speak as a Democrat here, you're not on Trump's side, but you yourself believe that you were wiretapped by the Obama administration. Tell us about that. Well, I, I don't believe I was. I, I heard the tape. <laughs> the tape was played to me by the Washington Times, who had obtained it uh, through from some intelligence agency uh, uh, as a leak. And what, what was happening was this. I was leading the effort against going to war um, uh, in Libya. And I had a congressional resolution that would have stopped the war in its tracks. Uh, and I didn't find out until years later that a phone call I had with a Libyan leader was intercepted. Uh, the call came, uh, was intercepted from my office. And that the director of National Intelligence Office was tracking the legislation, lobbying members of Congress, and uh, were successful in stopping a vote that would have uh, likely have stopped the war. And they had a vested interest because they were offering the intelligence that wanted to keep the war going. And we all know how Libya's turned out, a total disaster. So I, um, yeah, I've had that experience. So I can't say, well, it could never happen here. A few years ago, you may recall, the Central Intelligence Agency hacked the computers of the Senate uh, Intelligence Committee. I, you know, we have to be aware that in Washington, there's always the possibility that someone could be listening in on a phone call, trying to pry to get information. Uh, we'd like to believe that our Constitution protects against it, but convention and practice shows that may not be true.